goblins ahead. Look it, Claw. Sapper's here. Unless you've got another reason to be here. Feck sight. Let's try to be diplomatic, shall we? Goblins don't come by the handfuls, but by the dozens. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Be Minthara's messenger. If the boss finds out I gave him hard time, that's me done. Oh, right. Beg pardon. Gotta give all the visitors the old squinty eye, you know. Uh, go on in and have a drink for me, eh? Who? If he ain't one of us, and if he's here, he's down in the pits. The pits? He couldn't be somewhere pleasant sounding, could he? Better still be alive. Heh! <laughs> Depends who you are. We're celebrating a raid! No better time in camp than this. Get yourself a bit of fun before it dries up. Rip the guts out of Joaquin's rest, we did. Inns are good for gutting. Lads even captured some Duke. Worth celebrating, that is. What's inside?
sheep's voice warbles. You realize it's trying to say bar. your senses as the illusion vanishes. A diminutive creature sporting a red hat glares at you. He seems unaware that his illusion has failed. to be a sheep. Nosy, scum-sucking, lice-ridden little ball bag. Get out! Or I bite tongue. Eat tongue. Oh, delicious tongue. Oh, precious baby. Loves to bleed you. Yes. Turn your corpse into sponge. Nuts of old! Yes! Leave now, or I'll fill you with owls and more! <laughs> You bleed you. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. 
If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all. You best have one hells of an apology for me, young man. I don't think I did, dearie. And frankly, you're thick for saying so. You know, I was gonna give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door. But I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Gods, grant me patience. Eat up, Mayrina. I won't say it again. Keep that hole under your nose shut, or things will get messy. Well, you hurt the lady. We don't want things to get messy. What is it? What's going on? That can't be true. Auntie Ethel. They were being rude, and I detest rudeness. <laughs> Enough! Away would you! Blessed silence at last! Some time in the cage should do her good! And you! You'll regret sticking your nose in my business! your new friends. Bye-bye. Hack can't have gone far.
Let's finish this. Another step forward. Yeah. 
probably full of bloodsuckers as well. Shadow, you wound me. I wonder what the next move is. Fiat Columbus! All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. condition is worsening again. I need to consume some powerful magic or it may become volatile. Thank you. It is a strange experience. Each time anew, I kind of lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. Somehow the second artifact hasn't had the effect of the first. It's somewhat relieved the discomfort, but I fear my hunger hasn't quite... Ah! You do plenty for me, more than you realize. But this cannot be remedied. <clears throat> the magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time, like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire. It merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle, the fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think. Thank you for the artifact. The great deal of trouble it was too. A great deal of trouble indeed. You are as thick as they come, sweetness. This is my personal playhouse, and you don't have an invite. Get out! God's alive, a paladin! You lot are drier than shite in the noonday sun! I've picked plenty of your brethren from my teeth, Petal. And I look forward to seeing how tasty you are. Ah! Stop! Please! Please! What? 
What's that? What is this place? My darling Macron. She wished for the mind of a genius, but that silly head crossed me. Feel crushing waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils. It can't let people through, not again. Images flash a man cowering, a bag open at his feet, gold coins spilling onto the floor. His cries for mercy are cut short as the hag slices into him dismembering him painstakingly, limb by limb. She cackles, the man's remaining flesh twisted and contorted, becoming the twisted surface of the door before you. Flee, you feel it cry. A scene appears in your mind, two paladins and a cleric marching through the door shrouded in the glow of the divine. Weapons brandished, they charge into the hag's lair. Screams of terror pierce the air. You let them in? Naughty. That's a decade for each. You're mine for 30 more years, Petter. The door stays silent. The door shudders imagining its wooden frame cracking and splintering in a raging inferno. You see the hag. She walks through the door, its form shimmering. With a jerk, you're pulled from the vision. You feel the presence within shrink, terrified. Stop, please. My gentle Lauren. He wished to know what was to come. Away! Away! A thief who tried to no. steal. No! Don't look! Mustn't look! Mustn't see! I see it! I see what's to come! You realize there's magic at work. Some type of spell. An illusion. Me, dead, dead, flesh rotten, bone shining. Lies, lies, I see it. See truth, see death, all future. Always ask, never good, never see, never God's. Don't hurt me! Oh, please, 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 please! Monster! Monster! My mind dripping, flesh peeling, mind flayer! No! 
Get away! Get away! No intention of letting that happen. You're a thief who tried. Feel the barest hint of life from within the door. To Lauren. He wished to know what was to Don't come. Look. Don't. Stop. A thief Please. who tried to steal Please. from Auntie. Now the good little pet. Feel the barest hint of life from within the door. Don't look. disease that ravaged him. Wait. Wait. Don't my sweet no. Callum, whose Don't. beloved asked that his beauty never fade. As you edge closer to the mirror, a pale face appears, contorted in fear. Fists slam against the mirror's surface again and again. of life from within the door. Away! My faith will go. Don't look. It is! Don't! You feel crushing waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils. It can't let people through. Not again. Images flash. A man cowering, a bat's cry, she can't be coming, flee, you feel it cry. Frustrated, the door rattled. You see the hand you lay bleeding as she leans over you. Her teeth, a row of deadly needles, shine as they dive into your throat, blood spraying. The door twitches, but stays firm. You see the hag. She walks through the door. Its form, the lightest touch of hope, brushes your mind as the presence within retreats. Look. Don't! Feel the barest hint of life from... What's next, I wonder? Feel the barest hint of life You feel crushing waves of fear as the images as cries she cackle becoming flee. You feel it cry. Frustrated, the door you lay her teeth, a row of deadly needles shine as they dive into your throat. The door twitches, its form flickers, and you realize that the door is transparent. You see the hag, eyes bright with glee as she sets fire to the door. 
With a jerk, you're pulled from the vision. The presence within shrinks, begging you not to run through it. Please. Please. Oh, my mind. Um, well. Wait. Should mind my... Make me hurt them!
Come on. Can't stay idle. Ever easy. Oh, wait. 